So, don't know how amazing this is to y'all, but hey, I went three months without being on social media. What? To be honest, I really don't care what you think, but I do think that it's worth sharing. So hopefully you can watch this video and you can learn a few things, especially if you find it hard trying to detach from any of those life-sucking platforms. I'm pretty sure majority of us are on either Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, some maybe even Facebook. Now Facebook, that's the OG jump right there, I ain't even gonna lie. Boy, you gotta be anywhere from 26 on up to be on Facebook, I ain't even gonna lie. Anyway, for me, I was only active on Facebook and Instagram. Those platforms just kinda fit more of my personality, more of who I am, you know what I mean? On Instagram, I can upload my best pics and videos. Facebook just kinda get the scraps of whatever I post on Instagram. I look at Facebook like a family platform. I got a lot of my older family on Facebook along with a lot of like old friends from high school, college, whatever the case may be. Just a lot of older people like back in the day on Facebook, you know what I mean? You know, mama, aunties, cousins, sisters, brothers, you know, old friends, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I even got some of my teachers and my old coaches from high school on that giant. Sometimes I may interact with them here and there. That's just what we do, y'all. So that's what it is. But I had to take extended time away from all that a few months ago, mainly just for me to kind of get my life together. I Man, I feel like my life was just out of order and I needed some time and some space and focus for me to really just lock in on the exactly what I need to lock in on. So I spent July all the way to October pretty much off of social media. Not a peep from me on social media. Like I literally, I wasn't on it. I wasn't peeping on it. Like I wasn't doing nothing on that. Like it was nothing. The only platform that I can say that I used throughout that time is of course YouTube. Cause you know me, I like to learn bro. I like to watch videos. So I feel like that's, I need something bro. I need something and I don't watch TV. Don't watch TV, so I feel like YouTube kind of provides that void. It fills that void for a lot of the stuff that, you know, we may traditionally get on, like Instagram. We're gonna be scrolling all day on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, of course TikTok. So I think YouTube, it fills the perfect void for being on those platforms. Cause like I said, I like to learn, bro. And that's really the main reason of why I even watch YouTube in the first place. And also because I'm a content creator myself, so sometimes I may have to use the platform to upload my own videos, which that has been very sparingly the past couple months. Anywho, it happens, right? But during my time away from social media, I discovered three things that the average person may not even realize while being on social media. Number one, which I feel like is probably the most important thing, is that I became more effective and more efficient with my time. We spend so much time on social media, but we never consider the fact of how big of a distraction that it could be. Every day on average, we probably spend at least three to four hours just scrolling on social media. It can be so big of a distraction to you, bro. You can be doing something so important, but then you get on your phone, get on TikTok, get on Instagram Reels, bro. You get to scrolling before you know it, bro. You'll be scrolling on that thing a whole hour, bro. And you realize like, damn, like, where did my time go? Like, I was doing something, you know what I'm saying? It's like being on it can be so captivating and intriguing and it kind of like puts you in this headspace. Like, whatever you doing, it's like it take you out of whatever you doing, bro. It's like, whatever your focus is on, it take you completely off of it. Like, so I can say being off of it for that period of time, I realized and I noticed that I got so much more done. The second thing that I learned, which kind of ties into the first one, is like you become more in tune and more locked in to what's going on in front of you. Being on social media often it's like you can really get lost in it and it may make you feel like you just can't live without it like you just can't live without being on social media but in reality all you really need is what's in front of you what you see every single day if you haven't done this please go outside for a walk on a sunny day at the park no music no electronics at all you're gonna realize life is beautiful the sounds of the birds chirping. You're gonna see people interacting with each other. You're gonna see kids playing with other kids, just having a good time. And to me, that's real life. Just have dinner with your family or your friends just one time. Just tell everybody, hey, don't bring your phones to the table or leave your phone, put, keep your phone in your pocket. While having dinner with your family or your friends, bro, y'all gonna have some of the best conversations you probably gonna learn. You probably gonna learn stuff that you may have never 
known about these people, bro. Just having conversations just without electronics, without your phone, bro. Because like I said, we use, it's like we use these phones as like distractions. I promise just having these conversations with your family devoid of any electronic devices, bro. You're gonna learn something that you may have not even known before about your family and vice versa. I think that we be so caught up on our phones. We never really just take the time out and realize like how beautiful life really is. But yeah, man, for me, it just kind of like made me realize like man life is beautiful and that I should cherish it more it just made me appreciate life more the third thing that I learned is that like bro you be so caught up in real life that you realize like going without social media that you really not missing out on nothing like for me since I've done so many social media cleanses in the past it really didn't bother me that much but after the first time I did it I'd be thinking to myself like dang like what's going on on that job what's the latest trends going on what my friends doing what the girl that I like doing like what's she doing like what, what my baby doing but when I got back on social media I realized bro like <laughs> Bro, I could have stayed gone for this. Like, literally. They was literally doing the same thing when I left. The same exact thing. That's what made me realize and understand that you hold the power of what you believe holds value in life. And it's like you give certain things a platform by expressing how much and how much you just can't live without these things by showing your attachment to them you know what i mean it's like it has a control over you i never wanted something that's not inherently good for me to make me feel like i'm attached to it like i just can't get away from it bro. it's you know for me i feel like it was necessary like i needed that i didn't want social media to feel like it just held power over me so i had to literally just let it go bottom line is life is good and life has always been good without social media but it's like it's so ingrained in our culture that we just don't know how to live without it that's why i think going on social media fast and social media cleanses is good for the mind body and spirit because it's like it kind of resets you it resets your mind like and it lets you know man like life is really real outside of this thing if you just take a step back take a step back realize bro like what was life like before social media bro if you born from 2000 and on on back like you realize bro life was good just fine without social media and just being off of it kind of shows you how real life is you know what i mean how beautiful life is if you like this video man make sure you like comment subscribe share it to a friend if you're new to the channel man like i said make sure you subscribe to my channel bro yeah man y'all tune in to the next video bro i hope y'all enjoy it and i'll see y'all in the next one your boy is out in three